द क्राटिव हेमवर्क प्रोवाइड्स मल्टीपल बिल्ट इन फंक्शनैलिटीज टू बी यूज बट समाइम्स वी मे नीड टू क्रिएट आवर कस्टम जावा और जावा स्क्रिप्ट मेथड विच वी नीड टू कॉल इन आवर क्राटिव फीचर फाइल आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर हाउ टू कॉल जावा मेथड इन आवर फीचर फाइल इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो टूडे We are going to learn how can we call Java script function in our Karate feature file. I am Amud and welcome to my YouTube channel Retarget Common. Similar to Java, we can create Java script functions within our Karate feature file or we can create an external js file i am going to cover both the ways in this video let's start with creating javascript function within the karate feature file most of the javascript syntax will work let's create a very simple javascript function so to create a function i need to use the function keyword and this function will simply return a value i will use the return statement and i am just returning my name and this function i will store into a variable this will be called function expressions in javascript so for that i can use def keyword and i can have the name as get name now if i want to call this javascript function i need to use variable name which is get name and i need to use the parenthesis then only method will be called since we know that this function is returning a value so i'm going to store this value into another variable and i'm going to print the value it will run the scenario so in the log you can see it is printing my name which is written by this function so here we created the function which is not taking any argument but it is possible to create the function which is accepting one or multiple arguments i will copy this line and paste below and here i will pass one pan meter which will be named as name and instead of returning anything i will return whatever you are passing to call this parameterized method we need to follow the same approach means use the get name i should better name it as get name one then here also get name one and then use the parenthesis and here you pass the argument let me pass okay and again i need to store the return value into a variable value one let me print this value this time I will run the scenario so you can see execution is over and if you see here it is printing Amud and Mukesh we can use multiple lines as well to create the javascript function for that i need to use variable i will name it as get name 2 use the triple double quotes and i will copy paste this here let to put in multiple lines let's change something i will use let welcome and i will append hello with the name let me call new method here so i will just change the variable to 2 and here i will use get name 2 let me print the value to now and here instead of returning name i will return welcome let me run the scenario and here you can see it is printing amud mukesh and hello mukesh so generally we use the function keyword and then we give some method name i will just duplicate these lines it will be get name 3 and here after the function keyword i am passing print name which how can we call this now so it's simple don't worry about this method name we need to use this as the major diff and here you need to use get name 3 let me change mukesh to navin i will run the scenario and here you can see it repeating hello navin so now whatever javascript functions we created in karate feature file we cannot use these methods out of this feature file so this is not a good way to store the reusable javascript functions instead of that we can create an external js file but there is a problem with that let me show you now so in the project inside the utils package i am going to create a new file i will name it as js utils and extension will be js and let me copy this function and paste it here so to call the javascript function from an external file first step will be read the file so for that we have the read api and here i need to pass the path of the js file after reading this file i am going to store into a variable js util or maybe i can give some different name now to call the method from this js file i just need to use this variable name with the parenthesis and this is going to return a value which i am going to store into a variable well and let me print this value i will run the scenario in the log you can see it printing amud we can create a function with arguments as well so let me pass name and here i am going to return the name so i need to pass a value here so let me pass mukesh i will run the scenario so in the log you can see it printing mukesh i can give the name to this function as well 
it will give a name like print name then also i can call that method in the same way so as of now we have only one method in the js file let me create one more method and also i will change the name like print name one so now we have two javascript functions in my js file and if you see the feature file here we are not using the function name actually anywhere so how can we call any specific function from the js file and there is a problem with the creative framework we cannot have multiple functions in a js file so you might be thinking so for each reusable javascript function do we need to create dot js file this is not a good approach but there is a hack to it we will create only one function but that function will have multiple functions confused let me show you so let's create a function using the function keyword and use the parenthesis this function will return a json object so a json object is the key value pair so here use the key as print name or whatever name you want to give use the colon and the value for this key will be a function so let's copy this and paste here and i will simply return the name i can add multiple keys so let me copy use the comma paste it here i will use the print name one it will accept one argument and instead of hard coded value it will return name even we can have functions in multi line as well so print name to colon use the function multi line we can use and here i will use the let keyword welcome i will append hello space name let me pass name as an argument and here i will return this welcome variable now let's see how can we call these functions in our feature file so the basic will be same we need to use this variable because this variable is storing my js file data when we had only one function so i use the parenthesis so again we need to use the same thing and now i need to use dot because when this will be called it will give me these values and we know that this key consists of function so i will use this key like print name and we know that this is a function i need to use parenthesis and whatever it is returning i am going to store into a variable let me print the value in the similar fashion i can call the remaining two methods so let me copy paste here it will be print name 1 here it will be print name 2 and both methods are taking some argument so let me pass amod and here i will pass mukesh let me run the scenario so here you can see it printing amod here also amud and here it printing hello mukesh and there is one more way to create reusable javascript functions using the feature files we can create new feature file and i can name it as reusable js methods let me put the description and here we can declare variables like start def print name and this variable will store a function let me copy the content from here in the same way we can create the function with the argument or in the multi line let me quickly create and if you want to create multiple lines function then use the triple double quotes now let's see how can we call the function declared in this feature file into another feature file so this is also a feature file and i need to call this feature file in another feature file so to calling a feature file into another feature file concept i have already covered in my previous videos so to call a feature file into another feature file i need to use call with the read method and here you need to pass the feature file name and this i am going to store into a variable from the previous video we already know whenever we call a feature file into another feature file then all the variables declared with the def keyword will be written as a json object to the caller feature file so let me quickly print the value of this variable and here i need to pass the code let me run this scenario here you can see it is giving me json object and here i have three keys these keys are nothing but function declared and stored into variables so now to use these variables i need to use the json path js utils dot print name and this an output of this i will store into a variable let me print this in the same way we can call another two methods as well it will be print name 1 and this will be print name 2 here i will pass mukesh hey and here i will pass navin let me run this scenario so in the log you can see it printing amol which is the default value then it printing mukesh whatever we are passing and here it is giving with the hello world so these are the ways we can call javascript functions in our creative feature files and whatever way you feel comfortable you can use it so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone